A lot of issues and prices are certainly rising almost across the board. Shelter, food, fuel. <laughs> U.S. consumer prices this morning rose at the fastest pace in nearly 40 years since 1982. And it's unclear when this will start to subside, Jen. I know. There, there's definitely a lot to look at. And I'm really lucky. We're both really lucky to have uh, the guests that we have this morning uh, who are coming to us from all around the world. First off, Bloomberg's Ed Ludlow at the Port of L.A. And Bloomberg Intelligence's senior U.S. retail analyst analyst Poonam Goyle in New Jersey for us, and Bloomberg TV's Guy Johnson in Derby, England at GXO's Nestle Distribution Center. Thank you all for being here. Ed, let's just start with you because you're in the earliest time zone for us. So we learned that some of the ships that were thought to have been cleared were actually just hiding out in the Pacific. What happened? What are you seeing where you are? Yeah, it's really interesting. And it links directly to the inflation data, right? Because what we're seeing in the data is persistent inflation and momentum inflation, right? Month on month, there's no sign the picture's changing. And a big part of that is the supply chain constraints here at the port of Los Angeles and further along the chain throughout the United States. They aren't improving. The data tells us that. There are 97 ships in the San Pedro Bay and beyond, literally tens of miles outside of the port waiting to come in. But that's not even the biggest problem. The problem is that they're waiting up to three weeks to get a berth, 21 days at sea. It only takes three weeks to cross the Pacific in the first place. So they're spending as long waiting for a berth. And the net effect is that it's limiting supply at a time where consumer demand is so strong. Voila, inflation. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.